Hey, 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 good evening, good evening, students. Good evening, good evening teacher. teacher. From evening, basic everyone. module one. Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm oh, fine. Thank you. And you? Thank you, teacher. I'm very Excellent. good. Oh, yeah? Great. All right. I like that energy. Very nice. Okay, uh, ¿qué vimos? Vimos this and these. Do you remember? This and these. These. Uh -huh. Examples with this singular, these plural. Okay? Who has an example with singular? This is my brother. His name is Juan. This is. Se ocupa también para presentar a alguien, right? This is, right? This is a cup. This is a notebook. This is a book. Plural. These are. These are my friends. These are animals. These are mangoes. Ya que me dijeron mangoes ayer. Right? Who has examples? ¿Quién tiene ejemplos? Singulars or plurals? A ver, Ana, go ahead. What you got? What you got? ¿Qué tiene ahí? What you got? What's this? Uh, this is a mango. This is a mango. Mango. This is a mango. mango. This is a... This is a class. This is an opportunity. This, this is, is a, a cell phone. This is a cell phone. This is a sunglass. This is, is it seria this what? is or seria these are? These are. These are. Porque es plural, verdad? These are sunglasses. These are sunglasses. Excellent, excellent. A ver, Carlos, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a box. This is a box. Excellent. This is a box. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you for your participation. Let's go to the attendance. Nos vamos a la asistencia. Let me get to the right file. Once again, once again, welcome to the class, people. Everybody getting ready for the participation time let's see let's see what we got mm -hmm. tenemos a um, alejandro jose lopez diaz present ana graciela ramos garcia present teacher Andrea Michelle Marroquín Mejía. Present. Andrea, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Oh, Kiroki. Next is Bessie Elizabeth Mendoza de Soriano. Present. All right, Brenda Carolina Mejía Miranda. Present. Welcome means Brenda Lisette, no, Brenda Elizabeth Beltran Perez. Present. Already. Carlos Alexander Perez, I'm sorry, Carlos Alexander Reyes Guevara. Here I am. All right, welcome to class. Cesar Waldir Ramirez Perez. Present. All right, Daniel Rubén Barrera Barraza. Del Millesenia Casco de Cienfuegos. Eric Ronaldo Rosales Perez. Present. Present. All right, ahí estamos. Daniel Rubén, si sí estaba, ¿verdad? Daniel Rubén. No, él no estaba. Ok, um, Estela Guadalupe Maravilla Prieto. Here I am. Fernando Josué Guzmán Escobar. Here I am. Thank you. 
Gardenia Lisset Portillo Trigueros. Present. Glinda Lisset Ortiz de la O. Hilda Gisela Shaste Torres. Present. Isamari Beatriz Valencia Flores. Jennifer Saray Vigil Umansor. Present teacher, present. Already. Jenny Arely Rodriguez Alfaro. Here I am, both. All right, Georgina Elizabeth Lemos Perez. Here I am. Thank you, Jorge Eric Ramirez Ramos. Here I am. All right, Jose David Leiva Rivas. Jose David Monge Leiva. Present. All right, Jose Miguel Soriano Rivera. Present. Jose Manuel, no, perdón, Jose Samuel Ramos Castaneda. Present, teacher. Jocelyn Stephanie Peña Ayala. Jocelyn Stephanie Bautista Zúñiga. Here I am. Juan, okay, Jocelyn, welcome. Um, Juan Antonio Josh, Juan Antonio Gonzalez Vides. Juan Carlos Lopez Ayala. Carla Patricia Cruz Rosales. Here I am. All right, thank you. Very well, guys. Entonces terminamos con these and these. Dígame. Eh, se me olvidó conectar el micrófono, me escuchó, ¿qué, qué, qué dije? ¿Qué What's, your name? What's your name? José David Leiva Arriba. José David, let me check, José David. José David Leiva Arriba, ¿ah? ¿eh? Sí, sí, sí. Yeah, ah, no te había sí, puesto sí, nada sí. aquí, ok, no problem, sir. Sí, eh, ya me puso presente. Aquí estoy, estás, estoy. aquí estás, con todo, no problem. Listo, la participación no está ahí, ¿verdad? ¿Quién más? Teacher. No me... Ajá. Gracias, gracias. Adelante. Teacher. Sí. Eh, también yo había olvidado encender el micrófono. Delmi Yesenia Casco. Delmi Yesenia Casco. Pero sí le escuché. Le puse aquí presente. Ah, okay. No problem, ah, no okay. problem. Ajá. Thank What you. is your name? My name? What is your name? What is your name? My name well, is... Como... Coach Caleb, Coach Caleb. Ah, mucho. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. ¿Qué es tu primera vez ahora? What's your name? Oh, no, no, se me había olvidado su nombre. Olvidado oh, yeah. Nombre. Okay, cool. Let me share my screen right now, guys. Let me share my screen. This is something we finished. This is your homework. And this is the new objective. Let's check. Okay, just no questions. Where questions would be? Let's check. WH words. Now let's put that rule into. Este no lo habíamos visto, verdad? Oh, sí. Let me see. Ahí la dejamos a medias, teacher. A medias, vaya. Dejé, ve, iniciémoslo porque puede que tengamos dudas desde el inicio. So. Hi, go. everyone. Ahí In está. this class, you'll learn how to form yes, no, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, 
we're going to follow the next formula. Derivative to b plus this, or in this case could be these, plus some kind of complement. So verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. So let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this your wallet. We have the verb to be. In this case, happens to be is. And then we're going to use this. The complement in this case is your wallet. And then, of course, we put a question mark there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen, are these your keys? Uh, we have a verb to be. These. Your keys. And, of course, we put a question mark at the end. Let me give a couple of more examples. Is this your cell phone question mark at the end are these your things in order to answer this type of questions you're typically going to answer with yes it is no, it's not. If it's plural, for example, yes, they are. No, they're not. Now that we understand yes or no questions with B, let's explore WH questions with B. We're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions. Let me go ahead and put that on the screen. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. The rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions. The only difference is that now we are adding a WH word. So what are WH words? Let me explain. We use WH words to get information from others. For example, who, what, when, where, how, why are some examples of WH words. Now let's put that rule into practice. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right, we can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course, we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Why are you hungry? Where is the police station? To answer WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions, and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. Okie dokie. So we have yes, no questions, which are these. And we have where questions. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice making questions. Um, what is the pattern to follow? For example, si va a ser yes, no question, singular, vamos a comenzar con es, this, right? 
si es singular. Ok, si es plural, así como está en el chart. Are these. Right. And where questions. Where is the lugar? Donde. Where. W-H-E-R-E. -E. Donde es o donde está. Where is. Ok. Y puede ser plural también. Where are. Correcto. Where are. Ok. Pregunta. Um, is this. Es esto o está esto. Right. Is this an English class? Guys, is this an English class? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Is this class in the morning? No. No, no it's not. It's not. No, it's not or no, it's not? No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. not. No, it's not. Okay. Is this class in the afternoon? Yes. No, it is not. Yes, it is. In the tarde, in the afternoon. No, 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 it's not. No, it's no, not. No, it isn't. No, it's not. Por ahí me dijeron, no, it isn't. Correcto. Se puede decir, no, it isn't, or no, it's not. Question. Is this class at night? Yes. 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 Yes, it is. 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 Okay. Are these... Are these... Son estos o están estos? Okay. Are these classes... In Spanish? No, 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 it is not. Ah, uh -uh, aquí estoy en plural. This is plural. No, are no. these classes no, in no, Spanish? No, they aren't. No, no, are these, no, they, no they aren't. No, no they are they not. Know. No, they are not. They know. No, they are not. No, they are not. They are not. Uh, no, they aren't. Correcto. No, they are not. Correcto, correcto. They are, 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 are Bessie, are Bessie, Gardenia, Fernando, and Jenny in this class? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes they are. They are. Yes, yes, they yes, are. They are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Está bien, está bien. Y ahora con where usamos with, where is or where are si es plural. A ver, guys, where is Coatepeque Lake? Where Ana? is Coatepeque Where Lake is Coatepeque Santa Lake? Coatepeque Lake, uh, there is Santa Ana, sí. Coatepeque Lake is in Santa Ana. Puedo decir otra vez Coatepeque Lake, pero para no sonar muy repetitivo uso el sujeto. Si estoy hablando de Coatepeque Lake, que es un lugar, ¿cuál es el subject pronoun que se usa para lugares, animales o cosas? It's, it's, it's. Justo como lo mostramos it's acá. It's in, ¿verdad? Voy a decir it's, it's in Santa, Santa, Santa Ana. Ana. Ok. Santa Ana. Where is Cristiano Ronaldo from? Where eh, is Cristiano is Ronaldo Portugal. from? He's Portugal. Portugal. 
ya he estamos hablando de una Portugal. persona, ya sería él. He is from Portugal. He is from Portugal. Ok. Where is your... Let me see. ¿Dónde es o dónde está? Very good. Where is your father or your mother? My mother is in the kitchen. Perfect. My mother is in the kitchen. ¿Quién más? My father watching TV. My father is, my father is, el verbo to be. My father, my, is, father, my father is watching TV. Excelente. ¿Quién más? My, my father is in the sky. Oh, Miss, I'm sorry for your loss. Pero, pero le quedó muy bien gramaticalmente, Miss. ¿Quién más dijo yo? Va, hasta ahí. Y podemos my hacer la is, plural. Adelante. My father is sleeping. Sleeping. Good, good. Vaya, entonces podemos hacerla en plural también. Where are my keys? Where are my friends? Yes. Where are, where are my students? Where are, donde son o donde están? Ok. Donde son y donde están. Where are. Preguntas. Where are, where are your friends? Where are your friends? They are uh, um, play basketball. They are playing basketball. Okay, están jugando. They are playing basketball. Dígame. They are secot. <ríe> ok A ver, Miss, la pregunta Ok, solo estaba haciendo una prueba porque... Ok, se corta, Miss tenía problemas, tenía problemas con el sonido Pero no sé si me escuchan Ahora sí, Miss, ahora sí ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Ok, gracias Vaya, vean, aquí tengo When ¿Cuándo? What ¿Qué o cuál? ¿Who? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Ok. Entonces, a ver, díganme un WH word. ¿Cuál quieren usar? ¿Who, what, or when? When. Usemos when. ¿Cuándo? When. ¿Quién me da un verbo when. to be? Am, is, o are. Are. When, are. are. Ok, si es are, tengo que usar you, we, or they. ¿Cuál usamos? They. When are... They. El sujeto. You. When are you, puede ser. When are you. you. Y ahora pongo un complemento. When are you, ¿cuándo tú qué? When are Birthday. you? Birthday. Birthday. When are you? Eh, si es birthday, tengo que agregarle un verbo, right? Puedo poner un verbo con um, ing. Hasta ahorita, ahí voy, ve. When are you? Hasta ahorita eso dice. When are you? When are you? Si yo voy a usar un verbo adicional, guys, ese verbo tiene que ir con ing. Ok, si yo uso un verbo adicional, tengo que ponerle en ing. Si ustedes me dicen... The more you practice, the easier... Un verbo como play. When are you play? Tengo que poner playing. When are you playing soccer?
Sí voy a ubicar un verbo adicional, pero en todo caso puede ser un adjetivo. When are you free? Me gustaría que sea más corta, sin verbos. Por ahorita sin verbos. Por ejemplo, when are you free? Repeat, when are you free? ¿Cuándo estás libre? When are you free? When are you free? Usemos what? What are? What are? A ver, what are? ¿Qué son o cuáles son? ¿Qué son o cuáles son? What no, are? Que la metió de esas del mercado pequeña. Eh, me siguen afectando con el audio. No sé por qué no podemos bloquear el audio. Ok. So, what are your goals? Repeat. What are your goals? ¿Cuáles son tus objetivos? Goals. What are your goals? Goals. Con who? Con who? What are your goals? Who are? What are your goals? Who are your Heroes. Tus pasatiempos. Ah, pero ahí sería con what. What, ¿cuáles son? What are your hobbies? Hobbies. What are your hobbies? Hobbies. Mm -hmm. Eh, tenemos que manejar bastante las preguntas de WH, guys. Uh, por ejemplo, what nos está preguntando por qué? Por information. Information. Repeat, information. Who nos está preguntando por people, por las personas. Okay. Y when nos está preguntando por una fecha. When nos pregunta por una fecha. Date. Ok. ¿Qué tal si me hacen una pregunta? Por lo menos una pregunta usando esta fórmula. Ustedes usan ya sea who, what, or when. Usan un verbo to be, el sujeto conectado con el verbo to be y el complemento. ¿Cómo las acabamos de hacer nosotros? ¿Les parece? Prepárenme una, solo una, o me gustaría una con what, por ejemplo. Um, y escojan ustedes la otra si quieren hacerla con where, que es donde. Quieren hacerla con who o con when. Ok, me faltó ahí poner where. Where, que es de place, lugar. ¿Ok? ¿Están listos o les doy, qué? ¿Les doy unos tres minutos? ¿Three minutes? Yes. Three minutes. Va, les doy tres minutos. Preparen sus dos preguntitas. Right. WH Word, sigan la fórmula. A ver, ¿tienes preguntas, Jenny? Go ahead. Jenny, Jenny. Alfaro. Ok, después de los tres minutos vamos a hacer la conversación usando sus preguntas, guys. Let's go. Three minutes. Prepare your questions, please. Preparen sus preguntas. Tres minutos.
And um, Alrighty, guys, let's start with some conversation practice. Así vamos a hacer. Vamos a decir, excuse me. Y vamos a hacer la pregunta. A ver, Jenny, do you have... Tú inicias, Jenny, a ver. Jenny, Jenny. Wow, tenemos varios. A ver, uh, Carlos, entonces, Carlos Reyes. Go ahead, Carlos. Okay. What is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? A ver. ¿Tienes a alguien? A ver. Is, is. My favorite color is yellow. My favorite color is red. My favorite color is green. Vaya, y si yo tengo dos colores favoritos, ¿cómo sería? My favorite color. Mm. Are... No. My, my, favorite color. Color. my favorite color are color and black. Vaya, pero a color le vas a tener que poner S. Colors. Color. My favorite colors. ¿Y después? Color. Yes. Are. are. My favorite are. colors my favorite are, color are black and white, por ejemplo. Yellow. Ok, excelente. Vámonos, Brenda. Make a question para la clase. Make a question. Excuse me, what, what are doing food? Perdón. Excuse me, what are doing the food? Mm, necesito que me la verifiques. La otra, ¿cómo te quedó? ¿O solo una tenías? Sí, solo una. Vaya, verifíquemela, porfa, porque tenemos un error ahí. A ver, Fernando, go ahead, Fernando. Question for the class. Excuse me, what are you studying? What are you studying? Study. ¿Qué estás Study. estudiando? What are you studying? A ver, clase, class. What are you studying? I study English. I study English. I am, I am studying, uh, studying English. 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 Vamos, Bessie Mendoza, make a question for the class. Excuse me, what is your favorite movie? What is your favorite movie? Go class. My favorite movie is Armageddon. Nice. My favorite movie wow. is Caroline. Caroline. Okay, solo dos estudiantes. Okay, let's go with Alejandro Jose. Make a question. Solo una consulta antes. Dígame. Eh, me surgió la duda a partir de la pregunta del compañero hace poco que eh, al hacer una pregunta en plural Existe la posibilidad de, en singular, es decir, existe la posibilidad de responder en, en plural también. Sí, así es, porque puede ser uh -huh. que tú no tengas solo una, sino tengas varias, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, es que ajá, tenía esa duda porque según lo que hemos visto, estamos viendo como según la regla, el what is se responde con it, it, it is, ¿no? Pero ah, sí no, pues sí, ¿no? si quieres, pero no está así como que en piedra, ¿verdad? Sino que uh -huh. puede <risa> haber eh, diferencias ahí siempre y cuando, pues... Eh, Cumpla siempre, ¿verdad? Con eso de la regla gramatical. Si es singular, pues singular. Si es plural, plural. Usando is, usando are. No problem. Ok. Mi pregunta es, what is oh. your second name? What is your second name? A ver, guys. Muy buena pregunta. What is your second name? My second, My second name is Alexander. Sarai. 
My second name, forma larga, my second name is. My, my second name is Stephanie. My second name is Jenny. Okay. My second name is Caleb, guys. Celine. My second name. My is. second name, Samuel. Te falta is. Siempre tiene que haber un verbo. En este caso es. Is. is my second name is Samuel. Sam. A ver, Eric. Excuse me. What are your age? Sería what is. What is. Porque edad solo es una edad. Sería singular. What is your age? What is your age? Ajá, uh -huh, guys, what is your age? No me hagan trampa ahí. I am, I am 46 years old. Okay. I am 24 years old. Okay. I am 17 years old. 20, okay. Very young. I Next. am 44 years old. 44. <laughs> Thank I you. Am... ¿Cómo era? Repeat. Y recuerden I que am... con la edad siempre es con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? I am how... Uh... ¿Cómo? I am how... Y, eh, usamos el verbo y... have. ¿Cuál usamos? ¿El verbo have o el verbo to be? I am. I am. I am. Correcto. Entonces el have estaría de más. Ok, Miss. Ok. Falto yo. Permítame, solo que me repita acá la compañera el ejemplo, please. Repeat, Miss. I am. I am. I am. I am 28 years old. 28. 28. A ver, caballeros. Continue, caballero. Go ahead, gentlemen. I am 22. 22 years old. Okay, Jose David, make a question. Hola. Yes, sir. Uh, what is your favorite hobby? Okay, just tuvo esa, pero aceptada, aceptada, está bien. ¿Tenés otra pregunta por ahí? Uh, sí, Bye. sí. No, 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 no. Dale, que estamos impacientes. No, solamente ¿No? eso. Sí, sí. Va, prepárame la más, otra. Prepárame la más. Teacher, la mía. Dale, dale, dale. Sorry, what, what are your favorite sport? Excelente. Eh, solo que favorite. Favorite sports. Me la estaba haciendo en plural, entonces sport va en plural con S. Sports. Sorry, what are. What are your sports? Favorite. 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 Sports. Otra vez, otra vez, toda, toda, toda. Sorry, what, what are your favorites? Uh -uh. Favorite. 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 Favorite sport. Excelente. What are your favorite sports? Plural. Volunteers, volunteers. What are your favorite sports? My favorite sport is basketball and football. Vaya, entonces sería con R porque me está dando dos. My favorite sports are. My favorite sport are. Sports sería con S. Basketball. Sports. Sports. Ahora sí, otra vez. Todo, todo, todo. 
No puedo levantar la mano. No, porque sí. Ma, now, recuerden, guys, que les estoy corrigiendo la pronunciación, ¿ok? Favorito, se dice favorite. Favorite. Uh -huh. My favorite sport, sport is volleyball. My, okay, your favorite sport is volleyball? Yes. Perfecto, te lo entendí muy bien. ¿Quién más? Miss. My favorite Miss. sport is soccer. My favorite sport. Okay, your favorite sport is soccer, correct? My favorite sport is swimming and soccer. Ah, entonces sería R. My favorite sports R. Where, 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 where sería para. Perdona. Repeat the question, please. Vaya, vámonos con Andrea Michelle. Go ahead, make a question. What is your favorite food? What is your favorite food? Ooh, that's a good question. My favorite food is pupusas. Very My nice, delicious. Next. My favorite food is pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Huh? Next, next, next. My favorite is. My, my favorite, favorite is, My favorite. My favorite. My favorite food is spaghetti. Spaghetti. All right. Thank you. Next. Food. My fa favorite food is beans. Okay. My favorite food, your favorite food is beans. Tu comida favorita son los frijolitos, dice. <laughs> nice my, job. My, my, my favorite, my favorite food is, food is chicken. Chinese, Chinese food. Vaya, Chinese pero me food. siguen mal pronunciando favorito o favorita. Favorite. Guys, esta palabra viene de favor. ¿Cómo se dice favor? Se escribe igual, ¿verdad? Pero se dice favor. Favor. Favorite. Y favorito, favorite. favorita, favorite. Favorite. Uh -huh. Muy bien. My favorite. Excelente, guys. Buena práctica. Dejamos ahí el speaking. Guys, thank you. Let's continue, please. Let's continue. Yes. Y aquí estamos, the next objective. Here we go. It's prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Como siempre, pues haremos una pequeña introducción. Let's watch this video out. Estas son preposiciones. Pónganle ahí, por favor, con un corazoncito en sus apuntes. Prepositions. No son verbos. No son adjetivos. Son Prepositions. Preposition. Let's watch a video. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one, where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys 
are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion forums. The keys are All right, so what we got right here is the prepositions. Prepositions. Okay, prepositions of place, preposiciones de lugar. In, in, que significa dentro, adentro. In. In. Cuando usemos in. las prepositions of place, siempre vamos a usar y vamos a depender del artículo de. ¿Se acuerdan los otros dos artículos? A y an. Pues el tercer artículo es de. ¿Ok? Este de significa el, la, los o las. Cuatro significados. Usualmente y va después de la preposición. Por ejemplo, in de, in de, en la, adentro de la, in the box. Repeat, in the box. In the box. In the box, adentro. In the box. In es adentro, in de. Yo les diría acá, where are the keys? ¿Dónde están las llaves? Ustedes me dirán, the keys are in the box. In the box. The keys are in the box. Okay, next. In front of. Repeat, in front of. In front of. In front of. In front of. Que significa en frente de, ¿verdad? En frente de. In front of. of. En frente de. Por ejemplo, where are the keys? ¿Dónde están las llaves? Where are the keys? Where they are, are in front of. In front of. In the box. O sea que ellas están yeah. en frente yeah. de la caja. All right. Repeat behind. 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 Behind is atrás. Behind. Ah. Okay, where are the keys? ¿A dónde están las llaves? Where are the keys? The keys are behind behind the box. The keys are the keys are behind behind the box. Correcto. Behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Acuérdense que cada preposición es, pues, tiene aquí in es su preposición, dos letritas. In front of, son tres palabras. Behind, on, next to, and under. Todas son eh, prepositions, preposiciones. ¿Ok? Acá, the keys are on the box. On the box. Correcto. Where are the keys right here? Where are the keys? The keys are the keys are next, next are to the box. box. The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Are next to the box. Next to the box. A ver, acá, acá. Where are the keys? Where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. In front of the box. Correct. The keys are in front of the box. Acá, acá. Under. Repeat. Under. The keys are the box. The keys are under the box. The keys are under the box. Under the box. Under the box. The keys are under the box. A ver, Andrea, the tenías... Are... Question, Andrea. Andrea, tenías preguntita? No, teacher. Ok. Para decir a un lado... Next to. Next to. Ok. 
Igual para decir a la par. Sí. Next to goes es junto a, a la par y a un lado. Correcto. La misma palabra significa. Eh, la, sí, eh, um, next to significa a la par de, right? A la par de, right? Contigo a, o sea, algo que está justo a la par. All right. Quiero ver. Para los estas que tienen singular y plural. No, eh, esto no, no, no afecta con los plurales o singulares. Sigue siendo, pues, la misma, ¿verdad? Vaya, eh, perfecto. Teacher, ahí hablamos de llaves, ¿verdad? Perdone. Pero al palco de llaves es plural. Keys, ajá. Pero utilizamos are. The keys eh, si are. Decimos, Ajá, pero si decimos una llave o una the taza. The key is. O... Es con is. The cup is. The television is. The bed is. The car is. Si de con is. Si es con plural, are. Ok, estas no son las únicas preposiciones, guys. Sin embargo, necesito que se las aprendan, ok. In, adentro. In front Ooh. of. Oh, Enfrente. Enfrente. Behind. Behind. Atrás. Next to. On. Oh. Encima o sobre algo. Oh. Next to. A la par. Y under. Abajo. Debajo. Debajo. Ok. Perfecto. Bueno, voy a verificar su asistencia por última vez, chicos. One second, please. Solo los que no habíamos mencionado, como Daniel Rubén Barrera Baraza. Here I am. All right. Thank you. Daniel, ahí estás, Dani. Next is... Glenda Lisset Ortiz de la O. And she's missing in action. Isa Mari Beatriz Valencia Flores. Missing in action. Jocelyn Stephanie Peña Ayala. Oh, that's bad. We have three absents. Um, Juan Antonio González Vides. Juan Carlos López Ayala. Y ahí estamos. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, guys, eh, hay muchas otras preposiciones. Le voy a mandar un link ahorita de un juego. Es de un ratoncito. Cuesta que cargue un poquito, pero si tienen paciencia y tienen buena conexión, les va a cargar. Ok, necesito que me lo pongan acá en el grupo de WhatsApp. Aquí se los comparto, please. Me lo comparten rapidito porque ahorita necesito irme ya a la otra clase. Ok, ladies and gentlemen, ¿quién me lo comparte? Porfa, es un juego, es un game de un ratoncito y tienes que decir dónde está el mouse, um, pero ahí hay varias preposiciones. Mañana hablamos de qué preposición nueva encontraron ahí, right? And see you tomorrow, people. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, everyone. Thank you. Good participation. See you guys tomorrow at 9, at 8 p.m. I'm sorry, 8 p.m. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, classmates. Bye, Bye students. Bye. 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 <laughs>